Oh, because it starts us off with the path the light will take as I uh, look through the lens. So first, let's see if this will even work at all. I have a can of butane here. I'm going to flip it so down to get some of the uh, propellant out. Hopefully, it's dense enough for my laser pointer to be visible in. Let's see. Alright, so it's showing up just barely. So let's check the route that it would take. If you're just looking to see the uh, experiment itself and how well the lenses work out, just jump over to about 702 to check that out. Here you can see the route the light takes as it passes through the first lens, inverts, and hits the second lens, and then goes on. When you think camel, typically you think of a future technology. But something like this can be achieved with simple primitive lenses. Okay, so let's look at how this would work. You have your eye, of course. And the background, let's say in this case, it's a wall. Typically, light will come off of the wall into your eye. So this line represents a specific line of sight for a given portion of your vision. If an object were to intervene with that light, so let's say by getting in your line of sight, so let's throw a bird in here, clearly the light coming from behind that bird will not reach your eye and light coming from that bird will reach your eye. So if I were to instead, let's say, add a lens the size of a line of sight behind your eye or behind the object before light coming into direction is reflected off of the object and take the light from the background, divert it and this can be completely done using lenses to a smaller lens it doesn't necessarily have to be a smaller lens, it just would take up less space of which that lens then focuses that light in a tighter beam this can be perfectly forward if you prefer to another lens now this distance here can be any given distance assuming you can pass it through a medium without being distorted so much that it's damaged or looks distorted to the viewer then sent that light back to its original size from the observer in his line of sight. The line of vision that is this much at that distance is far less at this distance. And now if I were to return light to both its original size, orientation, and angle, At that specific focal point, you will be unable to tell the difference between light that was refracted through the lenses or light that was refracted, or I guess simply brought from the object. So, this means that any light in between this point here and this point here is actually not brought to the eye. So, an object, let's say, the bird, contained within this sector of space, or one contained in this sector of space, say a T-Rex,
is now effectively invisible. And this would be almost imperceivable or completely imperceivable using perfect lenses by an observer here who is not in motion. Given that these lenses would allow for a slight change, given you may be able to increase that by bulging out this lens, creating a better view of each angle. And distorting light in a way that seems more natural to your intuition. So that done, that explains essentially how it works. In my setup, the second focal point is actually out here. So you actually get a cross down there, but doesn't matter. The end result remains the same. With better fiber optics, and maybe some wacky lenses Whoa. speaking to achieve something as great as this. My body's gone. Well, at least I hope so. That's an invisibility cloak. I'm invisible. It's really rare. I wonder who gave it to you. There was no name. It just said, use it well. Let's see if we can line this up just right. There we go. If you notice, the fringes aren't quite perfect because my magnifying glasses aren't perfect. This was just made of lenses I have around the house. But it's not bad, I don't think, if I do say so myself. Got the corner there. Everything seems to be in the right position, besides the obvious distortions. And if I place my hand into this, I can come effectively invisible. If you guys are interested, just, uh, I guess, like the video and comment below. About this point, I remember I started freezing the crap out of my hand. So, uh, I guess I'll end it right when I'm in pain. It's about now. You can see the propellant pouring down. So, peace out, and I'll see you next time.